Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We've got Derek in here with us this afternoon, and this is Derek's very first chiropractic experience anywhere, right, Derek? That's correct. He's been researching me for the last couple of years, make sure I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> and uh, what did you find out online about me? All good. All good, you know. It seems to always work. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yep. So Derek comes in complaining mostly upper thoracic tightness that goes in around in both sides in the traps and shoulders. Right shoulder pain that sometimes goes down into his upper arm here. Mostly up here in the front and the AC joint and top here. He gets some SI joint pain on both sides. And then he gets low back pain that radiates down into his right buttocks, you said. And down into the thigh a little bit. Neck pain, stiffness, headaches occasionally. And he gets numbness and tingling in his hands. C6, he's getting in his thumb, his ring finger, and his little finger. So that's C6, C7, and C8 dermatomes out of the lower cervical spine. And a missing thing, did I? Nope, you got it. Okay, we won't mention that other condition. <laughs> 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 They'll both know, though, when they watch the videos at home. Okay, so this is Derek's very first adjustment, so we're going to put him on the biophysics table first. Let's go back on your stomach for me, please, sir. I'm just going to take these off for a second to show demo here. See his left leg short by half an inch in this prone position. When I bring his legs up, you can see that they get even, and that tightens up in your low back and your thighs a bit, doesn't it, Derek? Yep. So that's a positive deer field on the left with the leg getting even indicates a left sacroiliac sacrum subluxation. He's got a positive noculus with low back tightness when I bring both legs up. He's got some SI joint palpatory subluxation primarily on this left side. Lumbar spine's flattened out a bit. He's got some paraspinal hypertonicity in his lower thoracic spine and dished out thoracic spine vertebrae. A lot of chiropractors would call those the interior. Tight shoulders all the time, huh, Derek? That's your primary yep. complaint, too. Yeah, primary complaint. And he's got some, about three subluxations up in his cervical spine there, too. So I'm going to start off with his left SI joint in his pelvis. You know, we feel the table moving underneath of you. Yep. Okay, keep breathing. There we go. You hanging on to those thoracics, aren't you? <laughs> That's better. I'm still gonna get a little bit more. There. Feel that one? Yep. See now it's even, and it stays even. I bet you that didn't tighten up as much as that first I don't time. Know. Good deal. Good. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, Derek. Well, you were right when you said his head wasn't on straight. <laughs> so we're going to put it on straight for him before he leaves. There we go. Now put both arms out sideways. I'm going to adjust those AC joints now, which is your chromoclavicular joint, your clavicles, and your anterior ribs. There you go. You can relax your hands right there. Let this right leg go like a limp ray. Yes, sir. Should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your lower back. Derek. Yep. Let's have a seat. That's it. I feel good. I said you face towards the barber. He's trying to act like he doesn't notice anything. <laughs> He's trying to win the non drama queen contest. <laughs> <laughs> Most of our patients are a little bit drama queen on the very first visit. Just because they're surprised to them. Something different. Mm -hmm. You guys have never even been adjusted. You're going to be spoiled today. Right. Yep. We hear that all the time when people get off this table and go, wow, I feel better already. But you ain't seen nothing yet. Right. Come over here. And the ring dinger. And the ring dinger gets them all. 
this way just a bit. He wants to ring that bell, he's gonna be fine. <laughs> Did your team come out on top here? Uh, no, I went to A&M, so no. we weren't in <laughs> But are they in the same conference as the Longhorns now? No, nah, uh, in a couple we'll years, be soon, yeah. we'll be in the SEC. Okay. Well, they'll be in the SEC. Mm -hmm. okay. Wow. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, I'll get them out of there as soon as I can, Derek. On this one, just keep your teeth together. Don't bite your tongue. Breathe through your nose. Well, you're right here. There it is. Very good. See, I got him to curl his toes. <laughs> <laughs> the things are the worst part. Yeah, the pins are the worst part, really. And those are like my 20th generation nice pins. <laughs> oh. oh. When I had that old red table, I used to use wooden pegs. Wrap the towel around them. You know, it's evolution. Quite a bit in the last seven, eight years. Yep. Very good. How much so bad was it? Oh, here we go. Okay, let's stand you over here in front of the mirror too. You can put your back destroyers back on if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I got no saying. You knock them out, I line them up. Well, look at your posture already. Look how we opened this up. You see the difference? Yeah. See how you stand up straighter, Barbara? If you ever want to know whether you're in place or not, just look in the mirror because posture is a mirror of your spinal bone mechanics. So if you're off like this, you need an adjustment. Yeah. You know, if you're looking like that, you can hold off. Come in whenever you feel like you need it. How would you describe your very first visit to a chiropractor in our office here today, Chair? I'd say it was great. I already feel better. Cool. And you got your wife. And this is both y'all's first visit, huh? Both of us, yep. Well, welcome to chiropractic, both of you. Thanks, sir. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, with Derek. He's going to ring the bell now. <laughs> if he felt it all the way down. There you go. There you go. That's the real deal. That's it. You're going. We'll see y'all soon.